The European Chess Club Cup Recap of Round 2 Hello everyone and welcome back! My name is Nitzan Steinberg, I'm Chess Grandmaster and I really want to welcome you to the second round recap from the European Chess Club Cup in Serbia. This time I had a white pieces against international master Matthew Wadsworth from England. This game was much closer and more intense than the first round with several critical moments and positions where things could have gone either way. Stick around until the end to see how this game finished and maybe our team managed to win another match? Let's see. Before we jump in, I really appreciate if you can just like this video and subscribe to the channel because your support helps me to continue sharing my journey through this tournament and keeps me motivated to bring you even more content. So let's start. e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6 and bishop b5. The Rui Lopez, the Spanish opening, my favorite one. Let's see. a6, bishop a4 and I can tell you that you know in the preparation I didn't see that uh, he's, he likes to play the Spanish. I remember he's playing the Karokan, I think, and also also French, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but yeah, Spanish for me was a little bit surprised. So knight f6, and here I thought like, as you can see, two minutes on the clock, and I played the move d3. Overall, I'm playing here also castle, of course, the main line, knight c3. But I, you know, I felt like I need to to somehow just go from his preparation because he of course saw that I'm playing knight c3 or castle so I played d3 of course also really nice and logical move here b5 bishop b3 and now bishop c5 and in this particular position I thought for I think yeah 10 minutes 10 minutes you can see 10 minutes only for me to understand which position I really want to bring myself so I know I'm familiar with the knight c3 move, of course, uh, and after d6 I had uh, games like knight e5, for example, h6, c3, and now rook b8, of course, uh, also castle there is a move, but it's not so uh, strong, bishop e6 also, one opportunity for black, but overall I didn't really want to, you know, to bring him the opportunity uh, to know all the, the moves, right, because I played all, already such positions, and uh, yeah, it, it, it was not my idea to go for it. So I really thought if I would go maybe bishop e3, maybe h3, maybe a4, maybe castle. So maybe, you know, it's very important thing in the, the opening to think how can you play without uh, entering his preparation. Okay, but I played knight c3 and now after h6, I thought to myself, you know what, I will not play the move knight d5 that I'm playing all the time. I will play suddenly bishop e3. And this is first time that he thought about it. You can see that he's uh, thought about d6 for 6 minutes. And this was my goal, just to um, remove him for, from his knowledge in this preparation, okay? So d6, very nice move, I think, after bishop takes, just uh, d takes c5, and of course uh, this d4 square is just amazing for black um, and you know these double pawns here here are just uh, crazy good for for black so overall yeah i i will not take it i played just the move a4 here and i rook b8 i thought during the game that b4 should be interesting solution for him but i thought to play an id5 and here after bishop e6 i think just a5 i can play uh, also castle i think should be fine uh, if he's playing after a knight, knight e5, just knight x, I don't know, just bishop takes, bishop b7, yeah, there is some problems here, right? Knight e5, or yeah, bishop c6, knight e5, yeah, winning absolutely, um, just pawn up, right? So knight e5 is not uh, a move, bishop takes e3, just f takes with castle, and this f file will be very strong for me. So overall, you know, it, it should be fine for me. Um, before so we play the move rook b8 now i took it a takes because i really want uh, to control this a file and now knight a5 is not good because of this rook right so i'm playing the move knight d5 here and um, overall 
yeah, I thought that if I'm playing castle, maybe maybe he has some bishop g4 option, right? Uh, with after h3, maybe takes takes and I d4, and I don't like it. You know, it's close, very very close to equal position, and I really uh, thought somehow to you know to 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 put some complexity into the game. So I played move knight e5. And here, the point is that after knight takes d5, I just can play bishop takes d5, attacking this knight, and also don't forget that I have the possibility after it to exchange the bishop on c5, and this e5 pawn will be weak. So knight e5, knight e4 should be the move here, but here maybe knight takes d4, bishop takes, bishop takes, e takes, and I don't know, queen h5, or maybe castle. It should be good advantage for me, uh, it, at least in my opinion. So. I play knight e5 and here just castle and castle uh, for my from my point of view and now knight takes d5 bishop takes and bishop takes e3 f takes and id7 and in this position i thought okay you know what i don't have any advantage into the game because now knight g6 was played i was sure that he will play with bishop e6 uh, and now i thought maybe i will take take and maybe to play some d4 move uh, but I was not sure that I have something because you know the a file is maybe nice to have but but nothing more right because there is uh, No things that I can tell oh, you know what there is weaknesses that I can attack nothing nothing to um, To tell that I'm, I'm better position just e takes d4 for example e takes knight g6 with knight f4 queen f6 queen e7 e5 maybe black is totally fine here uh, so he played a move knight g6 and here I I felt that maybe I have some initiative after the move queen e1 So what was my idea? I really want to bring the queen to g3 of course with the threat of the knight on g6 because This f7 pawn is pinned right and for example if he's playing the move I don't know c6 let's play right queen g3 and now after king h7 I thought to play maybe d4 Maybe d4, maybe h4 with h5, right? Maybe also to control with rook a7, attack this pawn on f7. So I have a lot of uh, interesting strategies here, right? Interesting ideas to attack in the king side. So yeah, after queen e1, I, I had like maybe some dreams about, about attack in the king side. And also don't forget that I have also this file that I can open with just knight e2 or maybe h4, h5, knight h2, right? Knight g4. So also this rook can be uh, into the attack, right? Um, so we play the move bishop e6 here. And yeah, it was it was the best move, of course, because this bishop is quite strong. And after bishop e6, I must take it, f takes and queen g3. And here we're playing the move rook f6, and I play the move knight d2. You know, the first uh, thought that I, I thought to play h4, but I was not sure what about just knight f8. Knight f8, knight d7, and that's it, right? For example, h5, just queen e8 and queen g4, and now I thought that he will play something around knight e7, rook f8, knight f6, and this pawn on h5 will be weak for me. So, yeah, it's, it's not so easy to, to understand what is going on here, but overall it should be very, very, um, you know, close to equal position. So I played the move knight d2, and yeah, he's playing very strong. He took the rook on f1, rook takes, and queen e8. And in this position, I don't have nothing in the position. And, you know, the knight is under control, right? The queen is uh, just defended. Rook e8, the next move, rook e2, and I don't have here nothing uh, at all. So... Yeah, the position is, is really bad. I thought during the game somehow to play knight f3, but rook e8, h4, rook a2, h5, but just knight f8, and I don't have uh, attack here, right? I thought uh, something about rook queen g4, rook b2, knight h4, rook c2, but knight g6 just, I don't know, knight e7, that's it. I don't have here any uh, attack. I think uh, it's imp of course, complicated position after d4, something around this with d5 threats, but should be fine for black, uh, at least in my opinion. But but yeah, this style is very interesting and complicated. But don't forget that it's, of course, a, a group tournament, right? I, I cannot sacrifice two pawns and maybe I will lose very fast. So yeah, it's it's complicated and I really want to be solid as, as, as much as I can. So I played after rook queen e8, the move rook a1. And the point, of course, just uh, to be on this file, and of course, rook a8 cannot be possible because rook takes, queen takes, and 
a queen takes g6, right? I'm a piece up. So he played a move knight f8. Um, very logical, just putting the knight on f8. Um, take care of this pawn on e6 and also rook a8 the next move. So I played a move knight b3 and now rook a8 with queen e1, a very equal position. But the game is not over. And I really tell you that the end will be very interesting and maybe good for us. Rook takes a1, queen takes a1, and now queen c6. Attacking this pawn on c2, and I just playing the move c3. And now d5, and as you can see, we are in the 25 moves uh, into the game, something around, I don't know, maybe three hours uh, from the start, maybe two and a half, uh, and he's playing the move d5, and I felt like he's pressing for a win, and it was a good, good thing to to feel right because when my opponent said to, m to me you know what i'm going for a win it's like it's a like good position uh, to have while the position is equal right because your opponent will take some risks and if he's taking some risk uh, it will have i will have the possibility maybe to catch him in a mistake let's see so d5 e takes d5 and now e takes d5 and he has 16 minutes on his clock while I have 23 minutes and I'm playing d4 and of, of course after queen takes d5 there is a double attack here but I'm just playing with queen d1 and everything is fine here there is double pawns that in the you know in the in the future will be very weak these pawns are weak a little bit so yeah of course queen takes d5 uh, not uh, looks nice for him e takes d5 now d4 and now I thought into the game that he will play the move e4 uh, but here, yeah, it's it's not so easy. I, I thought to play queen f1 with knight c5, b4. I don't know. It's it's not so easy for him to play. And of course, also in time trouble. So, yeah, after d4, he played the move queen c4, attacking this knight on b3. And I'm playing the move queen d1. And here he played the move queen a4 with only 11 minutes on his clock. And I saw this uh, interesting idea. Because what is idea, right? This knight cannot go anywhere and also this queen right so I'm just pinned maybe I'm losing who knows but I saw this and I felt like oh maybe I have an idea I'm just taking the pawn I took one pawn one piece up right and, and now I'm attacking this d5 pawn so he's playing move c6 and now I realized that this position is almost Zugzwang. What is Zugzwang? It's a position that my opponent doesn't have any move, any good move to play. So let's think about it. The C pawn cannot go because the D5 pawn will be full, right? D4 is not move. B4, I will just take it, queen takes and a knight D4, right? Because this pin is over. So these pieces cannot go anywhere. The pawn on h5, okay, you can do it, but for now it's it's not a good move, right? g6 also, you can play also g5, but also it's not something that uh, really helps you to improve your position. The king cannot go, not to h7 and not to h8, because I will play the move queen f3. And then after queen takes b3, I can take this knight, right? So only the knight can go, but wait. I'm playing the move h3, and if the knight is gone, going, I just play the move queen h5, queen takes b3, queen e8 check, knight f8, and e6. And this position, in my opinion, should be winning for me, right? Because queen f7, e7, and that's it. I'm winning the game. So he cannot go anywhere. And also after knight d7, for example, the same thing, queen h5, right? Queen takes, queen e8, knight f8, e6, right? So it's a Zugzwang. And I'm playing the move h3 with some options also after knight e6, for example, queen g4. Also an interesting line here, right? Queen takes, h takes, and I was not sure that this position should be a draw, but probably should be draw, but not so easy for him because one pawn up in knight's uh, endgame, not so easy for him to end up. So he played the move after h3, he played the move h5. And now I'm playing another good and improvement in my king right i'm playing king h2 and it's it's good for me because the king is now in a better position is is in a better safety position and here of course after knight e6 just queen takes h5 right as we already saw this line 
and e6 and winning position. And if he's playing the move g6, I thought maybe to play the move queen c2. With the next move, also knight d4, right? And control the, this queen on c2. And also I have an idea of playing e6 and e7, right? And after e6, if he's taking it, I'm taking the pawn on g6. So right, there is no good move for black. So after king h2, he's playing the move h4. And now we're playing queen c2. The very strong move. And now he's playing the move c5. So after c5, right, as you can see, there is no good move for my opponent. And he's playing the move c5 with the idea of playing maybe c4. And also really, uh, you know, defend from me to play the move knight d4, right? Avoid knight d4. And now I'm playing the move queen d1. I'm coming back with the queen. What is my idea to attack the d5 pawn? We check, of course. So he's playing the move queen c4, very strong one. And now I'm playing the move king h1, and this was a mistake. As you can see, I have 7 minutes on the clock in the 33 moves. I have only 7 moves to play before I'm getting the half an hour, right? Increment. So I'm playing the move king h1, but now knight d2 was a better option. Because after queen d3, I forgot that I have the move queen e1. And now knight f3 with attack on h4 and one pawn up, and it's not so easy for him to handle. So king h1 was, you know, like... Uh, some move just to see what he's doing. He played move knight e6 and now knight d2, queen d3 with queen e1 and now queen c2. And I played the move knight to f3. And here queen takes b2. And I, I must tell you something. I must tell you a secret. When he played the move queen b2, as you can see, he doesn't have so much time. And he played the queen takes b2 and suddenly his king just gone from the the board and he brings out the king and put it on h7 on h7 can you believe it but of course it's very it's a better for me but but it's not the game right so i i told him you know what the king on g8 man so he put the king on g8 and we we just uh, you know resume the game right queen takes h4 now queen c1 check king h2 and now queen takes c3 all of these moves were in time trouble, and now I'm playing the move queen e7. And I'm attacking this knight on e6, and now queen e4 check, king h1, the 41 move, and now I got the time, and I, you know, wash my face and said to myself, you know what, I must go for the win, I, I really want to win it, but how can I do it? It's not so easy. So I thought after queen c1, I'm playing the move knight g1, and queen h6. I thought I will play queen e8 check, king h7 and queen takes b5 and this position, you know what, maybe I have some options to win, right? But he played the move queen f7 after king h1, queen f7, now I play the move queen d6, I'm attacking this d5 uh, pawn and of course if the knight is gone, I will take the c5 pawn, right? So his pawns are really weak and he's playing the move d4, queen b8 check, queen f8 and queen takes b5, d takes c3, queen c4. Queen f5 and just taking the pawn and as you can see I really played it very fast. I have 27 minutes on his, on my clock against 9 minutes. He thought so much time after the increment, right? And I have one pawn up in this queen and a knight and three pawns against queen knight and two pawns. And you know in the time uh, control I thought that I have good chances to win but you know the result doesn't matter for me. I'm just playing for fun. I'm playing, uh, you know, to improve my knowledge and, uh, you know, to get some experience in such positions, in such endgames. So let's see how it goes. Queen b1 check, king h2, and now queen e4. And now I'm playing the move king g1. I really want to bring uh, the king to f2 and somehow maybe queen e3. And, you know, just to develop my uh, my pieces, to improve them, uh, their position in the endgame, right? So knight d4. And this started to be um, interesting for me. I thought that knight e4 was a mistake because now I'm playing the move queen c4 check, right? And now after king h8, because king uh, h7 just knight g5 and I'm taking the queen. So of course king f8 because, uh, uh, king f8 of course because he's bad uh, queen c5 check and taking the knight, full knight, right? So king h8 and now just king f2. Slowly move and as you can see black doesn't have any checks in the position. No queen e3, no queen h4, no queen e2. Queen c2 should be losing, right? And just 
queen takes, knight takes, and I don't know, e6 maybe, or king e2, king e2, king d3, king c4, should be winning for me. But after king f2, he played a move g5, and this was just unbelievable for me. Uh, yeah, the best move in this position, I thought queen e4 will be, right? Because now after queen c5, there is knight f3, g takes, and queen d2 check, and probably should be a, a repetition, right? So, yeah, it should be. King f1, queen d1, and if, if I'm going here, queen g5, so should be a repetition uh, and the game is over so after king f2 he played a move g5 and this was a blunder just queen takes c5 knight uh, f3 is not good because i don't know probably g takes f3 right and, and that's it but he thought that he played a move queen e2 check king g3 and now knight takes f3 and in this position i i thought that i will play the move uh, g takes f3 uh, in the beginning but somehow i you know i i, I miscalculated because queen e1 check uh, uh, king g4, queen h4, king f5, queen h3, and now uh, king g6. There is a brilliant move. Uh, but the point here that after g takes f3, uh, yeah, g, g takes f3, I thought that he will play the move king g7. And here, you know, queen e1 with king h, queen h4, there is a very big, uh, you know, threat here, right? So in this position, I really miss that I have like unbelievable, right? Queen c7 check. King g6 and a queen c6 check. And if he's going for king h7, just queen e4. And there is no check with queen h7. Oh, sorry. Queen h7 um, check, uh, checkmate in the, in, in, you know, immediately, right? So this position, if he's going for g king g7, just queen f6 check and taking the pawn, right? So overall, it's, it's just winning for me, but I I, I lost, uh, you know, the, the idea of, of doing this one and bringing the queen to e4. Uh, with no checks, right? So it's not so easy to understand because I had I had only uh, 10 minutes. But after knight takes f3, I'm playing the move queen f8 check, king h7, and now queen f7 check and queen f6 check. And after king h7, just g takes f3 because after king h5, of course, queen takes f3 and winning endgame, right? So king h7, g takes f3, queen e1, king g4, queen h4, king e5, and now queen takes h3. And the only move for white, king e4, because after king g5. Just queen g3 and uh, repetition, right? King h5, queen uh, h3, and after queen h4, just queen f5, queen g5, and coming back. So uh, draw a greed, right? But after queen h3, king e4, I'm playing, and there is no checks for black. He playing the move, oh, sorry, <laughs> there is a check. Queen h4, but now, after king d5, there is no checks, and I have six and a half minutes against five minutes. Let's see how it goes. Queen b4, and now queen f7 check. King h6, queen e6 check queen d7 and now king e6 and it feels very strong for me because now after for example queen c4 check just queen d5 i have uh, with some king f6 king e7 discovery check so yeah everything is controlling here right and i'm doing just unbelievable here with this uh, monster queen on d5 so we play a move queen f4 and now queen d5 of course uh, i'm a little bit in the time trouble but i'm playing uh, fast with confidence queen e7 and now queen f6 Queen c4, just king f5, queen c2, king g4, very important. After king g5, uh, it's not so easy here. Uh, I'm, I'm not, I was not sure that it's draw, but I was not sure that I'm winning because there is a lot of checks and this queen on f6 is not in the best um, uh, position, the best square to guard this king, right? Um, yeah, so I played with king g4 and queen g2 check, king h5. And now g4 was played. Of course, after queen h3, I really wanted to play the move king g6. After queen h7, king takes g5 and there is no checks. And of course, this position should be lost very um, easily. Uh, so we play the move g4 now. And now queen g6 check, king h8 and queen takes g4. And I saw that after queen h2 check, of course, there is a check. But also the pawn on e5 is under attack. I have queen h4. And now my opponent resigned the game and I won wow what if queen takes e4 e5 i have king g6 check king h7 uh, king g8 of course queen h7 check king f8 and queen f7 checkmate on the board and that's it ladies and gentlemen after queen h4 the only move of course uh, in this position to win the game and i managed to do it so i really really hope you enjoyed uh, this video i really want to uh, tell you guys something that i i forgot to check but now uh, i will check and tell you so the 
Yeah, my team. How my team finished, right? It's very important uh, to discuss about it because this is a group. We have Bersheva team. We just, uh, you know, unbelievable players. So overall, um, we finished four and a half against one and a half. And Viktor Michalewski drew his game. Uh, Alon Greenfield drew his game. And Posny drew. But all the others, me, Ori Kobo and Alexander Kuzman won and we won the second match against a very strong team from England, Wood Green. So thanks you very much uh, for watching. I really hope you enjoy this breakdown of my second round game. And now I have a little teaser for you. In the next round, I played against one of the top 10 players in the world, a true legend of the game. You definitely don't want to miss this video so make sure to click the notification bell to get any updates about my videos will be uploaded i will see you tomorrow with round number three things are only getting more exciting from here see you soon bye